Why, hello everybody, and welcome back to another video on the Charles channel, and another episode inside of Stampy's A Lovely World. Good morning, Molly. Good morning, Dylan. Dylan, hello. Oh, egg hunt. Find the eggs five in total. Oh, this is quite cool. This is like a fun start in the game. Welcome back uh, to Lovely World. Um, we're going to talk in just a second. But first, I'm going to go and grab uh, the dog's breakfast. Um, I, I don't know why, but yesterday I had a pork. In the last episode, I had a pork chop. A little bit weird. So, find the egg. So, there's one. Um, there's two. I don't know if I can grab that. I'm going to go upstairs to grab that. Uh, let me see if I can get that. Come on. There you go. Uh, there's there's three. Okay. This is this is actually quite fun, Dylan. Um, so next episode's going to... I'll talk about next episode in a second. There's four. If I can get that. And where's the fifth one? Hmm. Where's the fifth one? Oh, it's in the guest room. It's in the guest room. Oh. The beds in are not loading in for me, uh, so I can just see floor. But uh, yeah, welcome back to Lovely World. Um, I hope you guys um, are all doing well. Uh, it feels like ever since uh, AG. Uh, I can't speak. It feels like uh, it's been forever since we last recorded, but, but it probably has. Um, but we're going to start off this episode by adding someone to the Love Garden. And today, to the Love Garden, we are going to be adding Withered Sunny. And that is because they made this really cool edit of me um, when I met the original helpers. And it's kind of my path. So it shows my decision. And in the corner, it says uh, that this decision will affect the story. And as you can see, it's it shows everything that's happened since then with those helpers. And I want to thank Withered very much for this. Uh, it kind of made me really sad watching this back uh, because it kind of made me, uh, it kind of showed what I had lost that day. Uh, uh, but yeah, thank you, Sunny, and welcome to the Love Garden. So, oh yeah, I, I saw this in the last episode, didn't I? I was a little bit confused. Uh, actually, I can eat my breakfast today. So we're going to go and grab... I don't know which dog we're going to take today. Uh, I'm guessing we can probably take Forest. Uh, so if you if you want to stand up, Forest. Oh, there you go. And then we can go and head off and go on to the, uh, the basket. Uh, so guys, uh, if you guys want to go and start planning uh, planning for Easter, because basically the, um, the helpers are going to go and plan for the Easter special today, whilst I go and finish off the basket. Because there's not much left to do, believe it or not. And this build has changed quite a lot. And we we're just going to shoot these eggs off into the distance. Um, because why not? So, yeah, the building has changed quite a bit. We got it very, very wrong in the last episode. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys uh, all the changes we made uh, before I start building. Uh, so, yeah, the Easter special is going to be a multiple choice adventure, I guess. You're going to have two options. I'm thinking... I don't really know. Uh, you guys are going to have to wait until next week to see that, though. Uh, or, or next... Uh, on on sat Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, I don't know, I don't know really what I'm going to post, I'm probably going to post these special on Sunday, so uh, I'm not sure if you get a video on Saturday, you'll probably get like a little, you a little sneak peek video, uh, but Forrest, if you want to sit down there, and uh, yeah, so basically, in the last video, uh, we made the basket, and it's, it looks very different, it looks shorter, and it looks bigger, so basically, I had, you, I Originally placed three blocks here, but I've placed five uh, now, um, so it's just a lot bigger on the inside. And also, it's a, it's smaller. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks high, and then the roof has basically stayed the same. Uh, but I will show you guys that in a bit more detail later on. But we're just going to go and uh, get started, I guess. So I'm going to grab all of these terracottas, and we're just going to dig out the floor. And there's going to be no flooring in here, so... Uh, oh, no. I'm in the water. Oh, that's so annoying. Right, let's just dig it all out uh, from under here. And then I guess uh, after this, we can continue on with the floor. So, yeah, the Easter special is next episode. And then on um, Monday, uh, you're going to be getting an extra special episode of Lovely World. Uh, the April Fool's Day special. Uh, or it's not really a special. It's just kind of a funny episode that you guys are going to get to watch. And uh, we have got a, got a great plan for it. Uh, so you guys are just going to have to wait and see. Uh, when, or, or, sorry, you get what I mean, you're gonna have to wait and see, uh, for the events of that episode, but we've just dug out all the floor now, so let me just quickly grab this dirt, and I will patch up this little hole here, now I'm not entirely sure how long this episode is gonna be, because we don't have much to do, uh, but we've got enough to, uh, to take up the entire episode, I guess, so we're gonna start off with, um, just re-organizing uh, uh, my inventory real quick, so let me just take all my tools out, and I'll probably have to, like, get my pickaxe back in a second, but we're gonna go... Pink terracotta, red terracotta, 
Uh, and then we'll go orange terracotta, yellow terracotta, green terracotta, blue terracotta, and then so on and so forth. So let me grab my shovel. I'm going to jump all oh, down. I almost fell. Uh, and then we're going to place one row of pink. And then we're going to place two, uh, two sets of red. And we're going to have to get rid of that block in the corner there. Um, so, yeah, uh, like I said, I do want to apologize. I think I, I, I apologized enough for last video. Uh, but I do want to say uh, sorry for last episode. It did release late in the end. Uh, I had scheduled it on the wrong date, but I have had a lot going on recently so i've just been taking some time to sort out season two and everything and all we're gonna need some birch in here let me just quickly go and grab some uh birch planks so let me just go rid of this uh why does the infantry never work i mean it's just it's so annoying really i i, I just doesn't do what i want it to do and yes it, it's an issue that i mean microsoft could deal with um but probably will never um it's just like the, I, I press the button right let me we're gonna go on a bit of a tangent here uh, I press the button on the controller, right, uh, for the, um, for, like, for it to do what it does. So, for me to change, uh, you know, infantry cycle or whatever, uh, to change what I'm holding. And it just doesn't do it. It just keeps it or changes it to a different block that I, I'm not actually selecting. And it is kind of really annoying, uh, which is one of the reasons why I'm generally considering switching to keyboard and mouse for Lovely World. Um, because, yes, it's, you're going to hear the background noise, I guess. Maybe I could tone it down. Uh, I'm not really sure, um, but, you know, it's just like, I'd be able, I'd be a lot quicker, um, that's, uh, that's a pro of it, I'd be a lot quicker, uh, I'd be able to craft things quicker, I'd be able to move quicker, I'd be able to build quicker, and I guess that could kind of contribute to the speed and things we do in Lovely World, uh, but, like, the problem with that is that you're gonna hear, like, a clacking noise in the background because of my keyboard, and yes, I could probably buy a new keyboard, uh, that is, like, silent, so you wouldn't have to deal with it, but, it's just like a lot of effort, and plus I don't want to be accidentally like clicking buttons I'm not supposed to be clicking. Whatever with a controller, I can't really like tab out of what I'm doing or whatever. Uh, so do we have? Oh yeah, we've got the pink terracotta, which will go in here. So I'll go for these next three. So it'll go like this, and then oh, just take that down, place this in here, and it's very dark in here. I'm gonna place some torches down in just a second, um, and then we'll place some red here, 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 and there. There we go. So there is the floor. Let me just quickly place some torches around. So. Uh, in the next, uh, no, in the next episode, sorry, we're going to be building the roof next. And uh, look, there it is. There's a prime example. I've gone to change block, and it didn't let me change. That's so annoying. Like, you guys, I think you guys should get what I mean, because probably some of you have experienced this issue before. And why is this? Oh, maybe we've got to put this torch here instead, uh, just to make it uh, symmetrical. So then this torch would be here. Oh, wait, no, this torch would be here. And then it'd go here, here. And there, there you go. So let me take that torch out now. And yes, it is kind of a dark shot, but once I put the roof on, uh, it will look a lot better. So we're going to go outside, and we're going to grab some blue... Um, I'm going to quickly put these uh, blocks away. All of this terracotta. Uh, actually, I'm going to grab the torches, just because I need to see a bit more. And I'm going to grab these, um, these st stripped warped stems, uh, and I'm going to place these across the ceiling like this. Uh, so it's kind of acting like a sky, if you get what I mean. Um... And I think Dylan helped me design this shop. I can't exactly remember. It was a long time ago we designed this. Um, so yeah, Dylan kind of... I think this was Dylan's idea. And look, it's done it again. I can't change to the, the thing I want, which is like... I, I mean, from for you guys watching, it probably won't seem like a big deal. But for me trying to build, it kind of really is. It kind of ruins the atmosphere, if you get what I mean. Because I'm having issues. And it's completely Mojang's fault. Like, if I was on Xbox One Edition... I wouldn't be having any of these issues. And yes, I guess it can be, it, w it would restrict what we were doing with season two and everything. Uh, it would restrict the blocks we can use and the videos we could make and the editing that I can do because of the um f of the block restrictions. But I guess I don't know. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but of course it's impossible because we've we've been building in season two on bedrock and we have got blocks placed in the world that couldn't be on xbox one edition and we could probably find a way around it by substituting blocks out or doing things like that but i'm not really interested in doing things like that because i don't know i guess i guess it's not in my interests to change what i'm doing right now I'm, I'm very happy with season two as it is and i'm not happy with the ceiling at the moment because it's not placing the way i want it to uh but again it's it's my my problem for using stripped uh stripped warp stems uh so let me just quickly continue placing these across here and then in a second we're going to place some quartz slabs down and uh using them 
as uh, clouds. And so when you look up at the ceiling, you're going to see some ni a nice bright, um, a nice bright sky. And you can have some quartz, and the quartz slabs all like clouds. So it kind of looks like you're outside, when in reality you're inside. So after this, we have got a couple of things. We've got um, a set of chests, which I'm not exactly sure what go in. Um, I know there's a set of chests, and they do have signs. And we probably will visit here in the next episode. Uh, I think it is kind of like in the design of the next episode. I'm sure the Easter Bunny has some things planned for us in the next episode. And we'll probably have to go running around the entirety of Lovely World and unpick some things and, you know, find clues and hidden details and things like that. But I'm excited for it. And I think you guys should be really excited too. So let's just continue placing this roof. And it is dark outside, but I'm guessing that's not really affecting the helpers because they probably would have slept by now. And surely it is becoming daytime. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, let me just finish placing off this roof. We'll put the callouts down, and then we're gonna get some chickens in here. And I'm not sure if Dylan has used the egg machine he's been working on, or if he has just um, got me a bunch of eggs, and I've got to try and uh, you know uh, birth a chicken from an egg. Uh, I'm sure he's probably we've probably just got a bunch of eggs, so we've got to place him. But it's an egg machine, so that's what we're probably gonna start off with before we do the clouds. So the clouds are kind of gonna go in a bit of a random order they don't need to be in a, s a specific place so if i go up here and go like four and then go up two uh no and then so that's there that's there that's there and then if i do this and then place then two there and then we're gonna go over and up one two three four one two and then we're gonna go uh one two three four one two and then one, two, three, four, one, two. There we go. So there's the ceiling. In and done. So let me go outside now and quickly grab uh, the rest of the materials we're going to be using. So um, let me grab the, let me put these back, these back, and I'll put this dirt in there and these seeds. Sorry, I'm just got to rub my eye. I've got a really itchy eye. So we're going to grab this bell. We're going to grab these signs, these chests, and the eggs. So yeah, Dylan uh, just used eggs. And do we have any glass? Yes, we do have glass, okay. Uh, and then we're going to need this wall, yellow wall and the yellow carpet and some flower pots. Uh, so yeah, let me just grab, I'm going to basically grab all of it. I'm going to grab these birch and the water and this brown dye and the black dye and the yellow dye. So, kind of, do I have item frames? Yes, no. Yes, we do have item frames and cauldrons. So, yes, uh, I've, I've finally got everything I need. So, uh, the cauldrons are going to go here, and unfortunately I don't have the sign details on me, uh, but I'm going to place three here, and then I'm going to make a crafting table, so if I make a crafting table here, and we're going to place that here, and we're going to keep that there, because it's always good to have a crafting table around, uh, especially when you are, um, when you're in like a shop or something, and you maybe need to craft something, and then we're going to place three buckets of water, so let me just uh, press this, this, and this, and then this, this, and this bucket here, and we'll place them all into this and it's kind of hard to see which is why we're going to grab what uh, one brown dye uh one white dye and one yellow dye and place them in a row and the signs i don't really have access to right now which are kind of annoying but we're going to quickly switch over to the other side uh i've got the slabs and what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be placing uh, some egg dispensers. So, like I said, this is really an Easter-themed build, and you guys, it's like kind of a design, it's like, have you, have you guys ever been, I'm gonna tell you a story from my childhood, and I'm sure that you guys have probably done this before. So, when I was in primary school, and I'm not sure what that would be for you people in America, and, uh, that don't live in the UK, really, they'd probably be like, I don't know, grade school or kindergarten, uh, you could say that. Um, each year we had an Easter egg designing competition, and uh, fa happily, I used to always, or mainly always win uh, at my school. Uh, a lot of the times I'd win, and basically what we'd do is we'd design a little Easter basket, and we'd uh, decorate them with like little chicks and paints and um, and like chocolate and all of those things, and you'd get to give in a prize. Uh, at the end of it for um, successfully uh, like decorating your Easter basket and uh, the teachers all voted on uh, who was the best and uh, for my year I would usually um, come out on top and uh, I've just realised I need to place the uh, Easter the, the Easter buddies I need to place the um, the eggs in and I'm only going to use 16 eggs because we do need to use some for the build so let me see if I can get a chicken oh I've got two chickens uh 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 okay um um there we go fine sorted Whew. So we've lost a chicken, and we're, we're going to leave that chicken to go loose, um, and then we've got to do it with this one, so come on. Please. There we go, and quick block, 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 yes. Okay, we've done that. So that is the uh, the egg uh, machine, so that's where you get your egg. 
uh, that you want to design. Um, so let me just quickly get the item frame and place the egg there, and there we go. So it kind of, when the chickens grow up, they'll lay eggs, and the eggs will go in there, and then you can select the egg you want. Um, and then you go over here, and these are the colors that you can use, and you can then paint. Uh, and so there are going to be things added to this shop outside of episode, uh, but we won't be doing them that here and now, uh, mainly because we've got some, we've got a lot of busy work to do over the next couple of episodes. We've got, we've got a busy week inside of Lovely World, um, so I'm sure you guys are going to say, uh, stay tuned and look forward to that. So let's just quickly finish off these birch slabs uh, here, and then we're going to place two item frames here and here, and here and here. And I'm, I'm supposing these are supposed to resemble already decorated eggs, so they can be on display. But uh, we haven't all, oh, we haven't decorated any of them yet. So uh, outside of the episode, we'll decorate them, and then we'll show you uh, uh, after the episode, uh, or in the next episode, uh, with this. So I'm going to come up to my crafting table here, and make a trap door, and then what I'm going to do is we're going to go inside, and we're going to build the cabinet. Uh, the cabinet, the, uh, the desk, sorry. So, um, the, uh, the, 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 uh, I'm trying to think of the word, because, I mean, the counter? I guess you could call it the counter. Uh, so we're going to place one there, and then we're going to place one... Uh, two, three, four, five, and then one there. There you go. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to place carpets here, 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 and there you go. So let me just quickly go outside and grab the, um, oh, that's one thing we don't have. So what I'll do is I'll just make a birch till for now. <laughs> I'll make a birch till, and then outside of the episode, we'll swap that in to the till that's actually supposed to be there. So there's one there, and there's one there like this. Uh, so yeah, yeah, we'll put some colours here, uh, some uh, some signs here, outside of the episode, we'll put some decorated eggs in here, uh, but we do have a little, I guess you could say an entrance thing for this section, it just comes up a block, uh, so it's the same entrance, it just comes up, so we're going to go one, we're going to place one block there, and then we're going to place two there, two there, and then one block on top, and there you go, and then what we've got to do is place the bell, uh, which is here in my inventory, right about, oh, wait, let me just look at my reference. Yes, no, that's not it. It's like that. And there you go. So that is... Hello, Molly. Uh, uh, it's all done in there, so you can go and have a look now. Um, it's all uh, looking pretty, pretty good in here. Uh, but that is all, all about time we've got for in this episode. I want to thank uh, Dylan and uh, Molly for joining me. I also want to thank uh, Forrest for joining me in this episode. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And I will see you all later. Goodbye.